I think it was on the 17th hole when Tiger was teeing off, and the fans have been pretty good all week. A fan during Tiger's backswing. Do you have that, Seaton? Okay, this is what it sounded like. No! What are you doing? Like I said, they're very knowledgeable golf fans, except for that guy. There's always that guy. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm pulling. Why, why would you pay all that money to go to an event? If you must love the game of golf, if you're there, I'm guessing you know, unless you're drunk. But even if you are, like you show up there for the to enjoy the golf. You may not like Tiger, but you want to insert yourself into a golf yes, event. That's what people want to do when they yell. When somebody tees off, then they they want to yell. Hey, listen to me. I'm going to be on TV. Yeah, Fritzy. And risk getting kicked out, like Paulie said, you made this trip. Who knows, you know, how far you came to be part of this major and then just you're going to yell like that and try to alter the events and possibly be kicked out and miss the rest of it? Yeah, but the tournament, it was over by that point. So he probably got his money's worth he's deep into his cups. Yeah, Paul. It, it, but it's so much different than af- just after the swing when you all yell Baba Booey or whatever. This is during the backswing. Yeah. What should be the punishment for that guy? Sport- we need uh, a sports I think execution. I think I would just like guillotine maybe. Oh. Yeah. People are open to it. Yeah. Like, if you if you, if you you get the first guy, then maybe the next guy won't do it. You know, word will spread. Like, do you hear what happened to Jimmy? No, what? He yelled in Tiger's swing. Oh, no. Guillotine? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see. So, a lot. I agree that, like, you shouldn't do that because it's so, it's just so lame to to do that to the golfer. Mm. Um, but is it really that? Does it really make it that impossible to hit the golf ball? I mean, I understand you shouldn't do it, but at the same time, it's like, uh, okay, right? Like if somebody steps on a twig or there's a click of a camera and it goes, oh, everybody looks. Guy just took a picture while I'm trying to swing. Like, but they've got, right, give me a break. But they've, they've gotten so used to that, that environment where everything stops, everything's still, everything's quiet. And then when it's not, then it's just so foreign to them. But, I always, I used to say this, you know, it'd drive me crazy when somebody do that with Tiger and then he would like drop the club like, you know, he just couldn't believe what just happened. Remember, he was famous for his focus. His dad used to throw balls down or used to make noise in his backswing and, and they talked about how famous Tiger's, you know, concentration was. And now you get somebody who's walking or somebody's clicking or whatever, and then all of a sudden it's, you know, it's like the end of the world. Yeah, Fritzy. Uh, to use your quiet analogy, it's got to, I mean, it's one thing when people are yelling when someone's taking a foul shot or, you know, pitching a ball or trying to hit the ball. But like in tennis, you know, you got to throw somebody out, I would think, right away. When you're serving up at Wimbledon or any kind of match and you're about to serve it and all of a sudden someone yells when it goes from quiet to loud like that, and that's got to be jarring more than any other sport, you know, compared to golf and tennis. Well, you're surprised. No, with golf, it's, it's different. I mean, tennis, you know, that, you, know you have people who are, are whistling and, you know, there, there's stuff that goes on. But, I mean, if you're serving, I get it. But... You know, with Tiger, I was always reminded how he's got great concentration, you know. And then, you know, the littlest thing would be like, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, Paul. There was a moment a couple minutes later, just a couple minutes later, Xander Sheffley, he was getting ready to hit out of the rough. And there was a mom with about a three-year-old baby in a stroller. She was less than three feet away from Sheffley. And she was backed in where she could not get out of there. And as Sheffley's getting ready to set up, he's, you know, he's lining it up. And doing the, the baby goes, when has he got to hit it? You can hear like the, <laughs> on, on worldwide TV, you can hear the baby going, it, what's happening? Like, and the, and Sheffley started laughing and he backed off and everyone started laughing, but it was, it was funny and unavoidable. For more Dan Patrick show, tune to audience channel 239 on direct TV or download the Dan Patrick show app.